Hey everybody, it's Gil here at the Sailing Vessel Dream Chaser, and in last week's episode, we took you down to the Atlantic City famed Steel Pier. We also visited uh, Lucy the Elephant down in Margate, this six-story um, architectural structure that you can go inside of, almost like a building shaped like an elephant. If you didn't see those videos, I'll go ahead and put a link right up here for that particular video. You gotta check it out. Uh, not really boating related, but it's really kind of interesting. This week, I'm going to take you back down to the boat, at least via video. I'm, while I'm up here at, at New Jersey still helping my dad and taking care of him after his surgery, um, Deb and the girls are all back down on the boat. I think you guys all know my wife and I are raising our two grandkids at 5 and 13 years old aboard our boat. It's all about our lifestyle doing that. Um, my daughter, who's 33, stays with us quite a bit. And, uh, <laughs> and, and I asked them, I said, hey, listen, I've been up here a while. Like, if you're doing any projects on the boat, do me a favor, record it, right? If you're, you know, whatever you happen to be doing, if the boatyard comes back to finish um, fairing and sanding the area, painting the area that, you know, we had to fix around the port, make sure you get footage. And I created a little place online that they could send all the footage and I could pull it down. And, and I, I've been texting like, hey, you get anything recorded? You get anything recorded? Um, so the funny thing is my daughter took the time to do this. And you guys have probably seen my daughter in some of these videos. You know, adult daughter, she, uh, blonde hair, looks just like a mini version of, of Deb, quite frankly. Um, but I think her sense of humor is hilarious. She's a complete dork and nerd in her sense of humor. It's just like me. It's like the, the goofiest, most ridiculous puns. She curses like a sailor. Um, <laughs> she amuses herself which, by the way, I find terribly amusing, like when she does something that she thought out was going to be really funny, even when it's not, and she's cracking up about it. For some reason, that's just, um, it's contagious, and <laughs> I laugh about it too. So I hope you guys find this video interesting. I um, I took a lot of the footage that they had, and, and by the way, they're doing things that we would normally cover on our channel, right? Like, you know, Deb's talking about how she does provisioning and organizing the fridge. Um, Chastity bakes cookies on the boat, you know, how we how we mix and bake cookies in a very small oven. Um, Deb goes into making jelly at one point, um, you know, on board the boat, like we're using like a, a pressure cooker. So we go into some cool sort of stuff on here, but we do it through the lens of Whitney. <laughs> and I gotta tell you, I have been cracking up putting this video together for the last week. Um, I'm gonna apologize right now, I'll have to beep out some things. Um, <laughs> and I tried to do some stabilization corrections because I have the gimbal with me and, and moving the camera around, there's a lot of a lot of fast sort of moving. moving. So. Anyway, I hope you guys do enjoy this video, the footage from Deb and, and the girls and, and Whitney specifically. Um, so thank you, girls. I appreciate you doing this. And I can't wait to come back home and visit you guys. Uh, I hope you all enjoy this week's video. Um, thank you, girls, on the boat for getting all this done and sending me the footage. Um, like I said, I cracked up doing it. Um, but, man, I, I miss them all terribly. And, and I found myself just watching these videos um, you know, being nostalgic and wishing I was there and, you know, just being part of the family right there. Um, it's been, so as of me recording this right now, I've, I've been up here in New Jersey for seven and a half weeks. Um, that's absolutely the longest Deb and I have ever been apart in our marriage of, um, geez, at this point, 27 years. Um, so yeah, it's, um, it, it's certainly the longest we've ever been apart. And like, just talking to the little ones on the phone uh, and doing little video conferencing and stuff, it's crazy how much they've changed. I don't notice it as much when we do the video conference, but when I just get on the phone and I talk to, you know, Swab, for example, at five, all of a sudden her sentences seem more structured and like she's grown up in this two month period. So can't wait to get back home just next week. I know these aren't quite real time. They're about a week or so behind, but you know, next week from the time I'm recording this, I'm flying home. We're loading up the camper. We're heading to Florida. Um, Deb's going to continue looking for property down there and we're looking for a place to keep the boat. And once we find it, we'll, we'll sail dream chaser, you know, kind of across the Gulf of Mexico and get down into Florida, which I can't wait for. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, this is going to be a hodgepodge video. I'll probably pop in here and introduce little parts of it as as each different sort of subject is coming on. But So in this particular portion of the video, the girls are going to show how we go ahead and make strawberry jelly using a pressure cooker. In our case, we use the Instapot. We also have one that's a stovetop one, but quite frankly, we've been tied at this dock for so long and at the marina, we have power. The Instapot's pretty darn handy to have on the boat. So let me show you how the footage goes for showing how to make uh, strawberry jelly in a pressure cooker. What are you making today, Debbie? I'm making homemade strawberry jam. Ooh. I love my little masher. This 
Is it actually mashing? Mm -hmm. Do you have liquid in your now? This was actually full of strawberries a few seconds ago. What are we doing? Making strawberry jam. What happened? Nothing. We're making strawberry jam. She fell. Not yet. I'm watching it boil. What are you doing? Little reading instructions. What are you eating? You put those in there. Oh god, that was your head. I'm terrible at this filming thing. Babies are really gross. Babies? Like when they're first being born, like made. They have like little dots for eyes and do you know that we have tails too until our butt cl closes over the tip of the spine? So we have a tail? I honestly don't believe that. Yeah, I learned it in um, sex ed too. It legitimately happens like until. Oh god. Hello. Hey, Gil. How are you? We're filming for you. That's it. Yep. That's it. I, lo I love the ladies in my life, but there's no ending. <laughs> I know this jelly tastes good. Deb's made it a bunch of times before. It's delicious. So essentially the rest of this is <laughs> you boil it down until it's thickened. You put it in the jar. You seal it up. Put it in the fridge. We make small batches so we don't actually do it like, like a, a homesteader might if they were canning something that needs to last for years uh, You know, for the apocalypse. Quite frankly, we make it, let it cool down put it in the fridge, and then we use it until it's gone, and it's good for a few weeks. Um, I'm sure it's delicious. I'd love to show you the final product. Let's pretend we'll rub it on some toast. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, girls, I love you. You crack me up. You're making what? I'm ready for you. Sugar mm. Honestly, my arm hurts from mixing so much, but... Oh. Are you doing it right? Yes. Does it taste sugary? Buttery. We don't have that one! <laughs> and over there... Where's my finger? There we go. We got Whitney juice. Don't mind that it's a 10-pack, because, you know... <laughs> <laughs> it's First, you were addicted to something bad. Now you're addicted to that crap. I mean, that... It's like coffee and drugs mixed. That's better than drugs. So, yes. That's better. And that's like mom juice for the time being while I work two jobs. And just so the viewers are not too concerned about my health, I do drink water, too. I've probably drank about three fourths of those at my other job because I do work outside. See, I got a tan going. It's actually really bad. You can't see it in here. Oh God, we got a blur. Oh, there you can see the tan line. That's terrible. We got a. We gotta blur her last name is on there. She told me to stop filming. So back to that clip a minute ago about the monster drinks and the coffee and drugs. Um, Whitney's been with us the last two years. She's been in recovery almost two years now. Uh, and I'm tremendously proud of her. She has managed to uh, get clean and I think it's tremendous. So as you might be able to tell, we have some pretty um, candid conversations down on the boat. And it was kind of interesting to hear Chastity sort of 
call her out at 13 years old about this kind of stuff. But listen, I'd rather we have those kind of discussions and we're really open with each other about things going on in hopes that as she gets a little older and starts facing some of those same things, that maybe she will come to us and talk to us about them. So uh, a little tough to watch and I checked with Whitney to be sure it was okay if I put this in the video or not. Uh, she was okay with it, but I think it's, uh, it's, it shows an interesting dynamic of our family, if nothing else. All right, so moving on from that, a couple of days later, I got a call from some friends of ours that used to be docked near us in Kima, Texas, um, Johnny and Carol. Uh, they were phenomenal, really, really nice couple. We would go out, we'd take dinghy rides, we'd go to a little local uh, bar on karaoke night and, and watch people sing karaoke and go out to eat. We just became really good friends with them. Um, Johnny actually did some boat work, that, that was his, his job, and, and we hired him to do some work on Last Affair for us. He did a great job. He actually installed a second electrical panel for us, um, installed our uh, our black tanks. We wanted to have a 35-gallon set of black tanks, and we kind of pulled everything out of the engine room, and he rebuilt re, or built them from scratch in there. Um, yeah, so really, really nice couple. They were still in Kima. They have a canvas shop now. They're doing some work on boats, and um, and they said, hey, we're going to be coming through your area. You know, we'd love to stop and say hi. And I said, oh crap, I'm I'm out of town, but I know Deb would love to see you. And you know, by all means, come on, check out the boat. They've not seen this boat. They saw the old one. So. Um, so yeah, they decided to come on out, and it was kind of neat. Um, you know, I think this is always funny, right? People that watch our channel know we have cameras outside, and, and sometimes we use that footage from them. As they came aboard, you'll see them come knock on the boat, Deb comes out, and then we had this little gem as they boarded the boat. Hi, Gil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Dad, Gilbert. Hey, welcome aboard. After they came on board for a couple of minutes, Deb and the girls and Johnny and Carol went out to eat. They all came back and then they just sat around and, and chit chatted. And and I thought it was kind of funny. I just took I just took the internal footage from the camera and I sped it up really fast just so that like you know this whole time was like 25 seconds. Um, the thing to note here for me is the energy level of a five year old. Oh my heavens! <laughs> Meanwhile, back in New Jersey, I'm mowing the grass again. Yeah, it just keeps growing. Can you believe that? You don't have to deal with that on a boat. Well, after getting some yard work done, I decided to go ahead and pamper myself. I went and got a pedicure. Yep, pretty manly, but it feels really good. Pomeranian Coco. Coco has dad trained very well. Coco doesn't go to the bathroom in the backyard according to dad. Coco likes to be walked. Coco just pooped in the backyard because, well, she doesn't want to walk the dog twice a day between 9.30 and 10 in the morning and then again between 5 and 5.30 in the evening. The dog is literally barking at the wind. I swear it's the wind. It jumped up, woo, 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 ran down the stairs, and there's a little three-foot tree, and the leaves are rustling, and he stood there barking at the tree. I think Coco might be certifiably insane. I also thought it might be worth mentioning in this week's video that if you haven't checked out our website, you ought to do so. Um, for most of these DIY projects on the boat, we write kind of a full article about it. You know, how we did it, uh, we, we include uh, pictures and diagrams, and in some cases we even put links to the products or tools that we use to do it. Um, they're not necessarily uh, sponsorship things in any way. It is at Amazon affiliate links. So if, for example, you're in the market for that particular item or that tool, if you, um, if you click on the link from our website, 
website and you purchase the item from Amazon, it's the same price to you, no additional markup, but they throw us a little stipend, you know, a few cents on every, you know, kind of $10 or whatever it is, pretty small amount. But, you know, over time, that kind of stuff adds up a little bit. And, you know, next thing you know, I can get a new microphone for the camera and I don't end up having to pay for it. So for those of you who do that, thank you very much. I really, really do appreciate it. So meanwhile, back on the boat, our daughter had taken Swab to the store and she loves dinosaurs. Um, so she got her some dinosaur sets and this is her telling me all about it. I had to cut some of this out, but it was the funniest thing. She's wearing a shirt that's real baggy and it kept kind of coming down real low in the front. She was, it looked like she was wearing her mother's shirt. <laughs> and, and Whitney says, well, pull it up backwards, meaning like lift it so the neck goes up here and the, the gap is in the back. And, uh, and Swab takes her arms and pulls it out and actually turns it around backwards. And then there was a whole discussion around what can not show on a camera. And oh, Lord, it was too funny. But I thought, <laughs> we're just going to have to... We're just gonna have to blur you. <laughs> okay, that's good. You're just gonna have some blurry spots on your nips. It's okay. It's okay. I can have blurry spots on my nips. Sorry. I'll wear it like this so nobody can see my nips. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. This is just not a great video. You're gonna piece pieces together. But it was very, very funny nonetheless. This T Rex. Oh, yeah. dinosaur from uh target yes what do you call it the tyrannosaurus rex no i mean what did you describe the store to me the place with the what's the circle the circle and a circle and a dot yes that's exactly what you called it stay there they're all real but they don't move as fast because I don't think they're real. Well, they're just toys. That's what a real roar of a Tyrannosaurus Rex looks like. Sounds like. Yeah, right. I hope you guys enjoyed this sort of hodgepodge of stuff going on at the boat and, and here in Jersey. Uh, I want to thank Whitney and Dev and the girls for sending the videos. One, so that I had some content to put in this video, but honestly, more importantly, it was touching. I, not having been home in a while, I sat here and watched it. I watched those things over and over. Um, it was so much better than seeing a digitized FaceTime screen like we've been doing. Um, and, you know, that dinosaur thing went on for 20 minutes um, where she was telling me about every kind of dinosaur and what they eat and, you know, which ones didn't get along and, you know, just, just a whole bunch of stuff. And it was... It was sweet. Um, it kind of made my heart smile. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, it's been raining here in New Jersey the last couple of weeks almost every day and certainly on the weekends. Um, but the other day it kind of lightened up and got nice-ish. Um, I went out to um, to the Seaside Heights area and I just took my phone out and I went ahead and recorded. There were a bunch of guys and gals out in wetsuits doing some surfing um, and it was just kind of fun. I walked out there and took a few pictures of the waves crashing in. I was still quite a ways from the water, um, but I, I thought you might enjoy that. Hey everybody, thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, do us a favor, give it a thumbs up or a like. Uh, I know some of you come to this channel specifically for boat lifestyle, 
DIY boat work and things like that. And I apologize, we're not doing a lot of that right now, but as I've said in other videos, life happens, right? We take care of our loved ones and that's what we're here doing right now, taking care of my dad. Um, but I look forward to getting back on the boat. One, it'll mean my dad's healthy. Two, it'll mean we're back to our sort of lifestyle. And as soon as we do, the videos will go right back to exactly what they have been in the past. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks for your patience while we've been doing non-boat related items. And thank you for all your really positive comments. I mean, people have been so kind in the comments down below, um, you know, with wishing my dad well, wishing our family well. And um, seriously, from the bottom of my heart, it means a lot. So thanks, everybody. Hope you enjoy the video.